it's very rare that we have an episode of Food Buffet Report where the photo that we're talking about features this much of a human torso. But here we are. Nice. It's got a rare, very wrinkly apron. Yeah. I know, it's not, should have ironed it. Not to pick on him or anything, but. So here we are. He's got his his griddle cooking up, visually cooking up things for guests. I find it unusual that there's not a sneeze guard there in front of the uh, the griddle that he's cooking on. Normally, there's a sneeze guard where like a plexiglass barrier between you and the chef. This must be taken pre-pandemic. Could be. Could be. I mean... Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know. He has that thing of hot peppers there. See him? Mm. Yeah. He actually has a spoon from the dining room. So that spoon is from the dining room. That's not a kitchen spoon. You'll find that a lot in restaurants where they have, they're short on silverware in the dining room. It's because the people in the kitchen have taken it for stuff like the hot peppers. It doesn't, he doesn't need an ornate pepper spoon. Yeah, it's going, the ornateness is going completely wasted and unappreciated. Yeah, the dining room people would appreciate it because they would be, you know, it would make you feel like you're at a king's house the china king the china yeah. king and he would do oh this is the royal we have the royal silverware for you now but instead it's in the hot peppers and some of the peppers are trying to get out you see him trying to get over the side yeah also those containers yet again we have another case of those containers are not meant to be sitting on a surface like that those containers are the type that are designed to be placed in inserts and you're not supposed to see the bottom. Why isn't he using a nice maybe ceramic bowl or something like that instead? Why is he using those? Same with the metal one behind. That's supposed to be used in an insert. Mm, those are all being misused there. Well, I think it all, it all starts with the wrinkled apron. It's just the mm -hmm. details, my friend. We see it. All of you see it. He doesn't see it. So he doesn't care. Anyways, I'm sure he's probably very good at what he does, but, and I hate to pick at him like that because I don't know what his day was like, but I will say this though even though it's wrinkled, it's perfectly clean. It's like he just started his shift and that's the first stir fry of the day because nothing, I don't see anything on that apron except for the wrinkles. It's clean. Do you think he left it in the dryer too long? As soon as it's dry, you should take it out and fold it. Then it's not so, but he, if he left it in there too long after it dried, like he fell asleep, he had had a real busy night, fell asleep, his apron was in the dryer, and he woke up the next morning, and it would have been smushed by, I don't know what else he had in there, towels, other things, and that's therefore the wrinkles. Yeah. How many aprons do you think he gets? One? You think he gets more than one? Wouldn't he need one per day? And sometimes what happens is the restaurant will employ a third party company to come and launder things like tablecloths and aprons and things like that. I don't know if this China King buffet restaurant really has the budget to employ a third party company to do all that. So maybe they, maybe they are just all responsible for their own. It's kind of like when you go to HR, they fill out all your forms. They give you like your five aprons. You're like, these are your responsibility. You will wear this apron. You will wear it with pride. And it's, you have to take ownership of it. We don't have a third party to clean it. Cause we think that this is an opportunity for you to show what you can do with that apron. And he's showing us right here. I wonder what his face would look like if we saw it. Do you think he has a mask on? I don't know. Tell us in the comments if you, whatever you think. The peppers are the same color as the Korean top too, by the way. Just point that out before we finish. That's true. It's, I mean, it's a little, the peppers are a little darker. Little, but they are very similar. 
this is true. I guess that's why he would have to put the, them on that metal baking pan. The cookie uh, sheet? I, yeah. Is that what that is? Sheet pan. Sheet pan. That's why he has to put it there because if he puts it right on top of the, what did you call it? Corian. If he puts it right on top of the Corian, they'll disappear. The peppers will just disappear. Yeah, he couldn't see them. He wouldn't be able to see them. Clear container, same color as the countertop. Totally lost. It's a good point. Yeah, thanks. Now, now things start to make a lot more sense. See, the longer we spend studying an image, the more information we can gather from it. You should try this sometimes. You guys at home, or you don't have to be at home. You could be traveling as long as you have a computer. You'd be in a hotel room. Go to the internet, find a buffet, and see if you can point out as many details as Aaron and I can. See if you can start a show. Shut up, dog! See if you could start a show talking about buffets for an entire year. When you think about it, we've only done this just over 50 times, which it really isn't that much. Once a week. Yeah. Well, but it adds up. It's a lot. Yeah. So if you would like to submit pictures that you find and you want to tell us what you notice in the pictures, send us an email. Buffet report at gmail.com. It's one of those very fancy business emails. Yeah. Always impresses me when someone's business email says Gmail. I know it's a big outfit then. <laughs> it's a big organization. Yeah. All right. This is good. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Big forehead when I do that. Wow.